Hi. Uh, so in my last video, I said that I was going to be making another video in the series about the uh, differences and the drama between the Church of Satan and the Satanic Temple. So that's what this video is about. Quick disclaimer before I actually get into the details about these churches and like the discussion that goes on between them, I do want to say really quick that if you didn't watch my first video about Satanism and like a general breakdown of like Satanic beliefs, I absolutely recommend you go there first, um, but you don't have to. Uh, it's only like a 10 minute video, uh, so you're welcome to stay here if you really want to. Uh, before I get into this video, I want to make it very clear yet again that I am not affiliated with the Church of Satan or the Satanic Temple, and I'll actually get into why I'm not affiliated with either of these organizations later on. Uh, so within the Satanic community, there's a lot of discourse as to uh, which organization is better, the Church of Satan or the Satanic Temple. Uh, there's a lot of arguments. Uh, one argument is that the um, Church of Satan is irrelevant or that uh, the Church of Satan doesn't really do anything anymore. Uh, that's an argument made by Satanic Temple members. And members of the Church of Satan claim that uh, the Satanic Temple is not a legitimate Satanist group, but rather just a political group. Uh, I personally kind of agree with both statements, and I'll get into why later on. But uh, first, let's start off with the Church of Satan, their beliefs, and why I do not... Uh, why I'm not a part of that church. The Church of Satan was founded by Anton LaVey in 1966, and it follows a specifically LaVeyan Satanism, which is atheistic Satanism. So they do not believe in a god or the devil, they simply believe uh, in yourself, basically, and the power that you yourself have over you. <laughs> the Church of Satan has 11 Satanic rules or tenets. One, do not give your opinion unless asked. Two, do not give your troubles to others unless you are given permission. Three, while in another person's lair, you should show them respect and or do not go there. Four, if a guest in your lair annoys you, treat them cruelly with no mercy. Five, do not make sexual advances without permission. Six, do not take what doesn't belong to you unless the other person cries out to be relieved. Seven, acknowledge the power of magic if you have employed it successfully to obtain your desires. If you deny the power of magic after having it serve you, having it serve you successfully, you will lose all that you have obtained. Eight, do not complain about anything to which you need not subject yourself. Nine, do not harm children. Ten, do not harm animals unless you are attacked or for your food. And eleven, when walking in open territory, bother no one. If someone bothers you, ask them to stop. If they do not, destroy them. Uh, much similarly, the Church of Satan also has nine uh, sins or just things that you shouldn't do in general. Uh, they give like a whole like lengthy paragraph definition of like what it is. I'm just going to break it down into the simple word uh, with maybe a little bit more description if it's not a very commonly used word. But uh, one, stupidity. Two, pretentiousness. Three, solipsism or pretending that everyone is like you, basically. Uh, four, self-deceit. Five, herd conformity. Six, lack of perspective. Seven, forgetfulness in path orthodoxies. So basically, like, if you don't learn history, you're due to repeat it. Uh, eight, counterproductive pride, being so prideful that it harms you. And nine, a lack of aesthetics, which is my personal favorite. I really, <laughs> I really think that that's awesome that it's considered a sin to, like, like if your vibes are just fucked, like if you just don't have cool shit in your house, you're committing a sin. It's very funny. So why am I personally unaffiliated with the Church of Satan? Uh, so there are two main reasons for this. Uh, one reason being that if you want to be a member of the Church of Satan, you have to pay around $200 for membership. And I personally find this to be absolutely ridiculous, especially considering that it is true that the Church of Satan doesn't really do anything every mo anymore except for like tweet <laughs> and that's kind of it like they they don't really do much nowadays um there's also the fact that like christian churches often ask people to pay them and if you're so heavily against christianity and evangelical christians why are you asking your members to pay you not only that most christian churches don't really require members to pay but meanwhile you are here requiring your members to pay and it just like 
it's just gross. It's just kind of icky. Uh, my much larger concern with the Church of Satan mostly comes from Anton LaVey himself. Uh, Anton LaVey has been dead since 1977, but when he was alive and running the church, he was friends with a man named James Maddell, who was a well-known Nazi and a leader of the National Resistance Party. Uh, since Maddell hated Christianity, he was driven to Satanism and thought that Satanism and fascism could work very well together. Uh, as far as I know, uh, Anton LaVey himself was not a fascist. I wouldn't think that he would be, just because like the tenets of the Church of Satan don't really seem to align very much with fascist ideology, but I mean, who knows? Everyone has a different definition of fucking everything, so. <laughs> Uh, along with that, I have so far not seen anything from the Church of Satan uh, condemning Anton LaVey's choice of friends, um, which is just very concerning to me specifically. So I choose not to uh, be affiliated with the Church of Satan. Uh, so now let's move on to the Satanic Temple. The Satanic Temple is a religious organization found by Lucian Greaves in 2012. Uh, much like the Church of Satan, the uh, Satanic Temple is atheistic but still holds satanic ceremonies, uh, more so for the purpose of political action rather than the actual uh, belief in what they're doing. To clarify, the Church of Satan also has done satanic rituals in the past, but when the Satanic Temple does it, it's more so to get a rise out of Christians. Uh, the Satanic Temple is mostly known for their political action and their political beliefs. Uh, these beliefs include uh, social justice, a right to abortion, uh, same-sex marriage, so on and so forth. Uh, much like the Church of Satan, the Satanic Temple is heavily against Christian influence, but however, they do it in slightly different ways. Uh, the Church of Satan is more so against like evangelical Christian influence in the personal life. Like if a Christian approaches you, you should say like, fuck off, basically. Uh, whereas with the Satanic Temple, they're more so concerned about uh, Christian influence in politics. I'm personally concerned with both. Um, but yeah, that's largely like where their loyalties seem to lie. They both are, uh, well, at least the Satanic Temple is also against uh, Christian, evangelical Christian influence in personal lives as well. But like that, they're mostly known for their political action, therefore Christian influence in political action. Similarly to the Church of Satan, the Satanic Temple also has several rules or tenets. Uh, one, one should strive to act with empathy and compassion towards all creatures in accordance with reason. Two, the struggle for justice is an ongoing and necessary pursuit that should prevail over all laws and institutions. Three, one's body is inviolable, subject to one's own will alone. Four, the freedom of others should be respected, including the freedom to offend. To willfully and unjustly encroach upon someone else's freedom is to forego your own. Five, beliefs should be held through the scientific understanding of the world, and one should take care not to distort scientific fact to fit their own beliefs. Six, people are fallible. If one makes a mistake, one should do one's best to rectify it and resolve any harm that may have been caused. Seven, every tenet is a guiding principle designed to inspire nobility in action and thought. And uh, unlike the Church of Satan, uh, the Satanic Temple, as far as I can tell, does not have a set rule uh, like against, like they don't have any sins of what like you can't do other than what has been previously described in their tenets. So why am I unaffiliated with the Satanic Temple? Uh, there's two main reasons for that. One of them also has to do with membership. Um, in order to join the Satanic Temple, all you have to do is sign up for their mailing list. And I just think it's very weird that these two organizations are on just like two very different ends of the spectrum in terms of membership. Like on one hand, they're like, give us $200. And then on the other hand, they're like, sign up for our email. <laughs> it's just kind of like, what? We need like a, we need a middle ground, like something in between. Um, I personally don't think either organization should make people pay, obviously, but like, at least like make them take a fucking quiz so that like they can clarify that they understand the tenants or something like <laughs> you know don't just like make them uh spend money or sign up for your email list although i do want to clarify uh the church of satan does make it very clear that you should read the satanic bible uh beforehand uh, anton LaVey wrote the satanic bible uh the satanic bible is affiliated with the church of satan but not the satanic temple so uh, there's also the fact that while politically the Satanic Temple is rather influential, uh, in terms of religion, they're really not taken very seriously at all. Uh, many Christians seem to think that the Satanic Temple more so does their, like, ceremonies and rituals and stuff for the purpose of, like, just, like, trolling, basically. They don't really think that they actually believe it a lot of the time, which really does seem to be pretty clear, especially in several interviews. Lucian Greaves has said that the Satanic Temple can be satanic and also satirical 
which like yeah I understand wanting to have like a little bit of humor in with your uh, political action but when you don't take the religion that you claim to have seriously and then use that religion to try and advocate for certain political ideologies it sort of tampers with what you're trying to advocate for. If you don't take Satanism seriously, why should other people take your political ideas seriously? That's basically what I'm trying to say. It's just like, it doesn't really make a ton of sense uh, for me personally. So this is also probably going to be a pretty short video. I imagine that most of the videos in this series will be. They're a bit more like low effort in comparison to the ones I released like on Friday. Uh, but I do hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned a bit more about the Satanic Temple and the Church of Satan. Um, have a wonderful day. Hail Satan.